Hello and welcome back to another installment of NatLab video. In this video, we will take a look at a quick way to measure particle sizing of dry powders with our particle sizing system using diffraction pattern method. With applications in a wide variety of industries, particle size analysis is a quick way to evaluate the effectiveness and quality in industry. Our particle sizer has both a liquid and dry module. Today we will be using the dry module. It can handle dry powder samples in the 0.4 micron to 2000 micron range. It uses single wavelength diffraction method to find the particle size measurements. The setup consists of high intensity monochromatic light and photodiodes to detect and record angle and intensity of scattered light. The light from the laser light source illuminates the sample and scatters the light signal. The signal is then detected by the detector and the system vacuums the powder and disperses cohesive powders without milling the fragile portions. Larger particles scatter intensely at narrow angles while smaller particles scatter weakly at wide angles. Scattering intensity is a function of scattering angle, particle shape, and particle size. For this instrument's modeling, the particle shape is assumed to be spherical. The particle sizer uses the Fraunhofer model for larger, opaque, or highly absorptive particles. For the Fraunhofer theory, particles of varying refractive indices can be used because the scattering intensity is concentrated typically at angles smaller than 10 degrees. The taste and flavor of coffee can be influenced by the size of its grounds. To date, we will be using the particle sizer to measure the particle size of ground coffee. Comparisons between the burr grinder and the blade grinder were made. Here you see the blade grinder in action. These blades cut up the beans and the fineness of the ground is dependent on how long the grinder runs. A downside to this grinder is that the resulting coffee grounds can be uneven in size. Here is a burr grinder. The burr grinder crushes the beans between a moving grinding wheel and an unmobile surface. Coffee beans are drawn between the stationary plate and the moving burrs. This results in a more uniform grind. Now we can take a look at the uniformity and size of the coffee bean grinds. For the coffee ground samples, we have burr grinder coarse, burr grinder fine, and for the blade grinder samples, we have 10, 15, and 20 second grinds with a 15 second pulse blade grind. The vacuum runs and then lowers once the vacuum has finished suctioning the sample. The system vacuums the powder and disperses cohesive powders without milling the fragile portions. Pressurized air uses shear forces to disperse a glomerate with a vortex instead of acceleration in a straight line. The combination of vertical grooves along the suction probe and the vortices created at the tip of the probe produces high shear forces that disperse the powder. This whole process happens within a matter of minutes to determine the material size. Let's take a look at the results. This first result here is the result for the Burr Grinder course setting. The mean diameter is 928.8 microns with a standard deviation of 414.3 microns. This second result here is for the burr grinder on the fine setting. The mean diameter is much smaller than the coarse setting at 671.5 microns, but a higher standard deviation at 431.9 microns. This result is of a blade grinder that was pulsed for 15 seconds. The mean diameter is 840.4 microns with a standard deviation of 437.2 microns. This next result is the blade grinder run for 10 seconds. The mean diameter is 843.2 microns, while the standard deviation is 455.9 microns. For the 15 second run of the blade grinder, the mean diameter of the particles is 788.3 microns with a standard deviation of 492.8 microns. Here is the result for the 20 second blade grinder run. The mean diameter is 526.5 microns and the standard deviation is 381.9 microns. This last result is for the 30 second run of the blade grinder. The mean diameter is 428.1 microns and the standard deviation is 322.7 microns. Both of these values are the smallest for all of the runs. We hope this will help you select coffee that is better and more enjoyable. That's all for this installment of Ibatco Lab TV. We hope you enjoyed and will visit us again. Keep an eye out for more videos covering diverse topics from our lab. If you have any questions about either the methods or the instrument you saw here today, please don't hesitate to give us a call or shoot us an email. Our contact info can be found on our website. And as always, if you are interested in nanoscale material and advice surface characterization lab services or consultation, please contact us. We'd love to hear from you.